love, love you. I, I love avocado, and it's one of my most favorite fruits, and, and, and it is a fruit. Nutritionist Megan Keltner is here with us today, but before she shows us three amazing ways to enjoy avocado, please, let's take a look at her shoes. Because I just think she looks so groovy today. Look how groovy she looks. Look at those. Come on, show your shoes. Okay, come on. Let's see. Okay, look at you. I'm telling you, cooking in heels, I love it. Come yes. on. Okay, let's get right to it. Avocado. I love avocado. Yes. We're going to do a great guacamole. Everybody does it differently. Everyone does it differently. This, yeah. this, is how I, this is how I do it. So we've got, we started our mashing of the avocado. We're okay. going to deep hit this. See that? Yeah. There's, there's a little trick. Okay? And you just scoop it out and you mash up your avocado. Now, you can just keep it like this and add some salt and maybe a little bit of cayenne. But if we want to get a little extra fancy, yes. we're going to add in some chopped tomato. Okay. A little bit of cilantro. A, a pinch, just a pinch of our cayenne. Okay. A pinch of sea salt. And then we can add in, we'll do it this way. Just a little bit of lemon. Of our lemon juice. Okay. And then we mix that all up. You didn't put any onion or anything in that. You don't like raw onion. I don't. Either do I. We've I'm talked so about this. I'm so glad about that. Yeah. Because sometimes they go, oh, what a disappointment. They put onion in it. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. So, and that's, that's all there is to making your amazing homemade guacamole. Did you want to show everybody how you, ax you, you that you actually open up that avocado without making a mess? Do you want we to demo that? that? We can do that. I want you to demo how you do that. And we'll, okay. we'll demo that. So we're okay. going to enjoy our guacamole with some chips. You didn't put any oil or anything in that? No, no, no. No oh, need. Really? No need. Just asking. Okay, no need. So we've got our guacamole. You can also serve it if you're reducing the chip. Yeah. In red peppers. Oh, really that nice. would be really Fill good. Peppers. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we're going to just set this aside. Okay. And we're going to open up... A fresh avocado. Move that too. Without it getting all through, all, all over the place. Okay. okay, we've got our avocado. This is for our mushroom avocado sushi. You cut it in a circle, all the way around, and you just turn it, and it splits open. Did you know that? Because I just it's found really, out about that. It's really, really okay. easy. And then you do that. And then you do this. So then you take out the pit, and you want to make sure you have a sharp yeah. knife when you're doing that. Perfect. And so, to, in order to get, we're going to get nice slices out for yeah. the sushi that we're yeah. making. We're just going to cut it like that, right? So you're just cutting it shallow, deep enough that it goes just to the peel, but doesn't. Okay. And then I just use a spoon. Just to carve that and out. And it just scoops right out in beautiful little slices. Nice. Oh my gosh, okay. that's so good. Okay. Yeah. So moving along, mm -hmm. we're going to make some mushroom sushi, which I understand people are talking about around here, and everyone's calling dibs on it. Oh, really? Uh-huh. Who? My staff? <laughs> maybe. <Okay. laughs> maybe. Is it easy to do? It's really easy to okay. do. So we've got these you can get at any health food store, Chinese market, anywhere. Even most Sobeys, the larger supermarkets, will have these. Okay. 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 So we are going to take our seaweed. This mm -hmm. is a nori sheet. Yep. This is what we're familiar with seeing. Mm -hmm. And seaweed's really great right now, too, because it helps prevent radiation stuff, which is in the air. But we're going to put this shiny side down. There's lines in it. Yeah. In line with the texture of the mat. Okay? Yes. And all we're going to do is take our freshly sliced avocado, line it along the mat, and some of these shiitake mushrooms, which we've sauteed in some garlic, ginger, tamari. Just wow. basic shiitake Doesn't mushrooms. Doesn't that sound good? This is very healthy. <laughs> This is very good. You know me by now. Oh, I know. Oh, you're very healthy. healthy. I didn't right. know about your shoes, but I like the shoes, too. Okay. <laughs> so that's good. Yeah. So something that's really nice about this is you don't need to cook up grains, and you don't necessarily need to know how to skewer fish properly yeah. to eat it. So we're making just Perfect. a raw avocado shiitake mushroom sushi. Okay. Is there a trick to rolling? There, okay. Here's how it goes. We line it up. Leave about an inch at the top of the seaweed. Line up your stuff along and make sure you get right to the ends so you don't get those like weak little okay. ends of sushi. Okay. You pick it up, holding on to the seaweed with it, and just gently, we're Ooh. gonna roll. We're gonna roll this up, and as you roll, you pull it back, and you oh, ah, and you just keep. These aren't tucking in. <laughs> Did you put too much in there, Megan? You know what? That's my famous move. Yes, I, I do too. I often do I that. I do that too with the. Uh, with okay, these are squeezing out a little, but that's we're okay. gonna we're gonna make it work. Okay, we're gonna do. It's it. gonna look beautiful anyway. Okay. And just see, we just have to take this little guy. He just wants to party, so we remove him and just wet the edges just a little bit because mm -hmm. we don't have rice for that moisture. We're gonna just wet the edges, roll it right on up, 
and then we just hold it, give it a little hug, a okay. little squeeze. Very cool. And that they popped out the side. I hugged, That's okay. and, I hugged and squoze too much. And then with a sharp knife, you start in the middle, and you give it just a slice like that, and you can cut it into this your This is pieces. really easier than I thought it it's was. It's really, you know really I mean? simple. Yeah. And then, so this makes great, a sharp knife is, is really key. This makes yeah. a beautiful little appetizer. That really does. Like that a lot. With your tamari yeah. and your ginger. Like a professional. Very good. Yeah. I like that. Okay. So that's... So really only need to buy one of these, you right? You just need one of okay. these. This is not looking very and pretty. And you, you use nori. Everything's on maryland.ca, but yeah. just, just so everybody knows that that's what, what's what's happening there. Yeah, you, you can get these. You need the nori. And then if you don't like mushrooms, use right. a mix of vegetables. Use anything. It's just, just the avocado really is taking the place of the grain to make everything kind of stick together yeah. and stay in there. And it gives such a creamy, delicious texture. It's so good. I yeah. love that avocado, as, as I said. I know. Everybody I know. does. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is really weird. Is it? It's really weird. Oh no, it's not weird in my mind. Okay, my tell everybody what you're doing. <laughs> We're gonna make a pudding with avocado. See, but why do I think that's strange? No, don't but you? you know what? Why do people love avocado? Because it's creamy. That's and right. It's yeah. rich and it's high in those good fats. I've got to open so up my mind to this. Okay. Open up your mind. Okay, so I just think of it as uh, always with like a, like with chips or something like that. But okay, you're oh, gonna make put this a chocolate? into a savor. Yeah, it, yes. Okay. With chocolate. Okay. And the thing is about this and if you're making it for other people serving it the best thing you can do is not tell them what's in it until after they've had it yeah that would be good especially for like avocado haters uh -huh. they won't even know and we we're assuming now because it's with an avocado it's much healthier it's much healthier so often when you're buying ready-made pudding snacks they've got sort of stabilizing stabilizers in them and yeah. fillers in them and things like cornstarch or gelatin to make it thick and creamy. Yes. We're taking advantage of the thick and creamy texture of an avocado okay. to do that for us. So okay. it is going to be naturally healthier without having to remove any of the good flavor or anything like that. What if I took a, a, a you know, a little packet of uh, a pudding and I added the avocado and mixed it in and served it? That'd be a great transition place. Okay. Yeah. But not tell anybody. Right. Gotcha. Or you could just buy a thing of cocoa. Yeah. And do it that way. So we're gonna put in a whole avocado. You can do a half or a whole, depending on 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 the taste buds. All of your avocados are perfect. How okay. did you do that? Because I get like I buy five and one of them is good. You need you, you know? need it's good to buy them when they're ready when you're gonna eat them. So you yeah. can check them in the store. You want them a little bit soft. Yes. But not mushy and no like really hard soft spots. Okay. And watch out for the avocados in stores that have the sticker on them say I'm ripe which some of them do yeah. and then you you know they've been squeezed too many times by too many people and there's going to be brown oh, okay that's why the brown stuff okay yeah. so let's get We've going got with our this avocado pudding. in mm -hmm. here we're going to put in a quarter cup of beautiful raw honey mm -hmm. okay that's probably about two tablespoons and really first time we're doing this you can put in as much as much want. honey as you want okay okay it's healthy all it's right. healthy and raw honey is also really high in b vitamins and enzymes and all those good things that give us energy not mm -hmm. not just from the sugar Okay, and while you're, you're going to put some cocoa We're in gonna, here too? We need cocoa, obviously, for making chocolate pudding. Right, so how so much cocoa? About another quarter of a cup, so okay. equal parts honey to cocoa. And we use like a, a unsweetened cocoa, so mm -hmm. we sort of manage the amount of sugar that's going in it. I've seen that brand a lot on the show. People really like that the brand. The Camino Cocoa, it's yeah. a fair trade, it's a nice brand, and it's available yeah. widely. Okay. And you know that it's just pure cocoa, there's no other yeah. questionable things. We're going to put in about two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and then we add just a little bit of water as we need it to get it creamy. Okay. So. Here we go. Here we go. Don't tell anybody. Trust, trust, trust and faith. Okay. You're having a little bit of challenge with this. So let's just see if you can get that right it's, it's gonna work, I just know it. Yeah, we're gonna give it good to you. Mm. <laughs> That's okay. It's, you know, okay. it's live TV, what can we say? What can you do? Okay, you All wanna right. jiggle it? Yeah, Maybe we Is need that to. Is that good? That one. That one? Which one? That one. Okay. What do you say? You're asking me to fix something in the kitchen. That's hysterical. Between okay, what am I doing? Is this one you mean? Oh, hey! Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Do it again. Maybe we just need to hold it. Come on! Is it doing okay? It's perfect. Yay! Hold on to it. Here we go. We got it going. That's what's all about. You know, no matter how much you're going to 
does it take to run a food well, processor? Well, there you go. There you go. Right? Okay. Two women in cute shoes. And then you end up with this a beautiful, beautiful... Look at this. Let's get a good pudding. picture of that. Isn't that great? That looks good. The consistency is great. Yeah. Yeah. And then what are you going to do there? Are you going to do something there? No, now you I'm going to move this out of the way. Okay, I am going to take a taste test. Things. By the way, speaking of avocados, before we take a break, where do you store avocados? You, I store them just in a bowl on okay. my kitchen table. If you want them to ripen faster, put them in a bag with a banana. The banana lets off this gas that increases the ripening time. Oh, there's a spoon right there's there. I was going to take the spoon spoon. tablespoon. Yeah. Okay, everybody. You this could is take it. a tablespoon. I could. Okay, all right, huh? Well, can I taste it, too? Oh, my gosh, you made it. It's great. Mmm. That's so good, man. And it's good for you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. We'll be right back. <laughs> we'll be right back. Thanks, Megan. That was really good. Good. This will get worse. Coming up, is it time to update and upcycle your wardrobe? Julia Greve shows us how. And on Monday's show, Miranda Melisani introduces us to superfoods that can help you stay healthy and live longer.